Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading. Let's start, let's shuffle the deck four times for you. Let's start with the current situation. What are the current energies? Okay, somebody lied in the past, may have cheated or was not quite transparent and that's what you keep reflecting a lot about. Was that connection and love true and honest? There was some d dishonesty that happened certainly there or some avoidance at least. What is affecting you in your subconscious at this moment? Yes, Three of Swords. This painful ending. Let's hope it was not a third party situation, but definitely it broke the heart. Uh, you are recovering fast, uh, but still sometimes uh, you go back in time and uh, with your memory and you feel hurt by their behavior. Now what happened in the past? Let's see if we can get more details. I think it was related to dishonesty because since the very beginning I got the Seven of Swords and the Three of Swords but I'm getting as well this person not being quite serious about moving this connection to a bigger and more important step. They were always giving you the impression like they were ignoring you or being quite indecisive and hesitant. Two of Swords may also speak about the person that is thinking not only about you but is thinking about another person. So there's a high possibility this person was not 100% focused into that connection and not, qu not quite reliable and that may have been a big challenge for the connection. Now let's see more details about how do you view the situation. You think they are very mature but you know the passion was there, uh, the connection may have been quite passionate and intensive at times. You think a lot about this idea of giving another chance even though you, though you see many red flags there. You are waiting and reflecting, think a lot about that love, wanting more openness and vulnerability between you both. You fear that this person may have given up completely, especially when uh, they think about the dramas that uh, were present in the past. They chose the easiest, quickest way to just give up and not deal with it. That is your fear, that they have given up. Now, what you hope for is to be in a connection with a person that really appreciates your, your love and is emotionally stable, mature and knows what they want and has a deep love for you. And you still want to believe that this person has feelings and you may be expecting them to come towards you with some messages of love or at least an apology. Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Now let's see about them. What are their energies? their energies towards you at this moment. I'm getting the Empress reversed, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Cups at the bottom, the Moon, the Justice, the, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Five of Wands, the hangman. So I think in the best case scenario they would like to make peace and reconcile with you. This is the best case scenario. But for now I don't see them quite motivated here. They don't believe this connection can grow bigger and better. They are lazy to work on this connection more. They want uh, easy quick fixes 
and it seems to me that they are confused and keeping their options open. They don't want to tell you everything. They want to hide some things there or hide their feelings and thoughts. They think a lot about the dramas. But let's see in the extended more details about this past uh, person. Let's see about what kind of feelings do they have towards you at this moment. How do they view you? What are their intentions? What are the mutual energies? What are the energies around each one of you? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. Or if you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can just click the title. The description box will expand and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching. See you the next reading and bye for now.